Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Steve from Batman's Sponsor and Education. Today, uh, a quick video on uh, splitting hazelnuts. Today, we're making a, a beetle hurdle fence for a local project at a local school. Uh, so, it's a question of, uh, of showing you guys how to split uh, hazel right down the centre of the pit using a knife, bill hook or whatever you've got to have. So this is a, uh, a small hazel, hazel rod, uh, coppiced this morning, uh, about, about an hour ago. Ideally you need to leave it uh, a, few, a few days, a couple of, couple of days, maybe a week or so. But this is nice and thin, we'll start nice and easy. You can see at the top of the, uh, the hazel, I've cut it at a slight angle, uh, so I can get my knife in. It's only a cheap demo we're doing here. But what I'm going to try and do is, is get my, my knife down on the pithy centre just there but we've got a mindful of fingers, thumbs and various things so I'm going to sit it on there and just tap it down so there's no, no fingers being damaged in any way there but as you see down there my split already is starting to go off to one side so if I if I try to split that it'd probably come out about here where this uh, where this little nick that little knot was so I'm going to get in there now and force it to come out from from that side there. Put my knife away. And now, because it's only a small piece, I'm going to get my fingers in. So, this is where you often get my fingers cut to pieces on doing stuff like this. So, where the thicker section is, I'm going to pull it, more pressure on the thicker section, and it's going to pull that split back into the centre. So, we've now got that, that split running true again. So, keep going, nice and gentle. And again, it's wants to go to one side. So you can see where I'm splitting now. I'm bringing it back to the, to the pit centre now. So again, a bit more pressure on, on this side. We're coming to a bit of a knot there. So we broke through that knot. The, the only part we struggle on is where, the, where we can't see where we're splitting because of the bark. So I've got a bit of a bend coming up here, so I've got to be quite gentle on this bend and tease it round that bend. There we go. And I can feel it wants to go to the other side now, so I split from that side and then back this side, that side, and keep forcing it round. So I've gone a bit far that side, so tease it round this way. Just bring that split back to the centre. There we go. So I'm trying to get it so I can keep the pith in the centre of it all the way down. So, and the end bit is is it's pretty useless anyway. But the end, what I often do is, is put, hook it over something and just just finish it off there. So if we finish, where we see a uh, hazel rod, this had a bit of a twist in it. We can see it's twisted. It's been pulled through. It's not ideal, but we can see. We've got the pith mostly running down the centre and it's split in two. So that's how we split a hazel, sycamore, ash, uh, willow, anything we want to split down. So we could do this to make bows, we could do it to make hurdles, we could split it just to cleave it down centre. We need to uh, split a, a piece of wood with our hands straight down the middle. That's, that's me again, Steve from uh, Welcome to Scotland. 